What does Tetris and Petrus have in common? They both utilize block building. And so, in this video, beginner block building is what you'll learn. Alright, all scrambled up. So let's get started. So first, what three colored piece belongs in this lot? This lot here. I see it's the blue, the red, and the yellow. Three colored piece. Blue, red, yellow. Three primary colors. Very beautiful. So let's look for the blue, red, yellow, three color piece. Alright. So, all these four, out. Why? Because our piece does not have white, and neither does it have magenta. Blue. I see this red. Yellow. Blue. Red. Yellow. That's our piece. It was here all along. So, now that we have found our desired three color piece, what do we need to do now? Well, what belongs here? On this slot. I see that's the blue and the red. Alright, blue, red, two color piece is what we're looking for. Now, remember that your three color piece is here, down here. Let's look for the blue, red. Couldn't be here. Um, it's up here? Nope. That's white. Blue, white. Oh, there he is. Right down here. And so, we have the blue, red, yellow, three color piece, and the blue, red, two color piece. What does blue, red not have that our three color piece does? It's missing yellow. And so, we have to, we have to basically use the face that has the yellow part of our three color piece here in order to pair the pieces together. So for example, since the, the blue red is down here, I could use this face, the red face, to move him up because it has yellow. I could move him in and maybe I could move him twice down like that. See how they're paired up? I basically use the fact that the red face here it, it has the yellow part of this three colored piece. And now the two colored piece, red, blue, does not have yellow. And so I use the face with the yellow part that it doesn't have in order to sort of manipulate my piece to pair them up. Now, what do we do now? So, now that we have made this pair here, the pair that belongs in those slots, now let's find the blue, yellow, two color piece. Blue, yellow, two color piece. On the search. Here? Yes, there he is. Blue, yellow, which belongs down here. And so, how could we move him down here? Well, a special thing you can do is hold down the three key while clicking on this face. It's like you can do this. Watch. Move him down. Like that, so that the yellow matches with the yellow sensor. And then, what you can do is that you can sort of, um, you can move this pair out of the way here, and sort of just match up. See, I just solved the blue yellow two color piece during their, it's in its correct slot here, and so maybe I could move this pair out of the way, move its slot in because it belongs here, bring it over. Back down. Hmm. We seem to miss. We seem to be missing something. You know what that is? It's the red, yellow, two-colored piece. So let's look for the red, yellow, yellow. Oh, down here. See, red, yellow. So how do we move him? Right over here. Well, we could move our square out of the way. So he's over here. With the red yellow piece there, see him in this slot, then move him back. Do you notice something? We've just solved a 2x2x2 two by two by two equivalent block. We've basically solved a 2x2x2 two by two by two block of a normal Rubik's Cube right here. Alright? And so, hmm, what could we do here? Maybe let's take a more F2L approach, if you may. 
And so let's find this two color piece, this cross piece here. So that's orange, yellow, orange, yellow piece. Look for him. Orange, yellow is right here. Let's just move him down. So let's look for our F2L pair that belongs here. Orange, blue, yellow. Orange, blue, yellow, three color piece. Look for him. There you go. I found him. Right there. So our orange, blue, yellow piece is right here. Now let's look for the two color piece. Blue, orange. Blue, orange. Let's look for him. Oh, blue, orange is right here. See him? Right there. So now, what does blue, orange not have? that blue, orange, yellow has. Obviously yellow. All right, so how do we pair this up? Well, first, since this face, this blue face here, already has a block on it already, let's just move it, let's just move this yellow piece here over here on this face. Now, let's see if we can try to pair up our two pieces. I can move this orange part here, right here, then move them down. As you can see, they match up. See? And so, I can see the orange part is here. So, I can put the orange part up two times, slide them in, back down. See? Another pair. So now let's move our cross piece in. That's a green, yellow. Green, yellow. Let's find green, yellow piece. Green, yellow. Is it here? Nope. Not there. Oh, I found him. It's right here. And so because no blocks are connected to the center block, we actually move the green, yellow piece here. Let's move him back down. Next. What pieces belong here? First, look for the green, orange, yellow, three color piece. Green, orange, yellow, right here. Just like that, highlighted. Now, what piece belongs here? Green, orange. Green, orange, yellow, plus green, orange. Let's look for green, orange is right here. So, Hmm, do you see something? I see an F2L case. Because the the three color piece, remember, it is basically a corner of a Rubik's Cube. And since our three color piece is in a corner slot like this, I could actually move him down and then move this U face twice because he has yellow, then back up. See how I did that? So now they're paired up. It'll take some time and experience. But anyway, let's move them out of the way and try to pair them. So first, I move the green part up here because the green guy is on this place here so green can slide around. So put green there and I can just spin them around like that and back down. Now, we don't need to find any cross pieces since they're all solved. And so, we can try finding immediately this three colored piece. That belongs here. I see red, green, yellow. So where's red, green, yellow? Red, green, yellow. Right here. Now, red, green. Where's red green? Oh, he was hiding right here all along. Right here in the center. See him? Red, green. So now, since this yellow, since this yellow part of our three color piece here is on the blue face, which is all built up, let's try moving him to a partially built face like this. Now, actually, let's move him 
to the red face since we could move them down and not mess anything up. Because you see, if I move the if I move the red face down like that, no blocks will be in the way to be destroyed by the front face, uh, by the top face, I mean. So yeah, no. I can move this guy down, maybe bring him over and back up, so I can get him in one of these four slots. One of those four slots, and then see what I can do. Oh, I can actually move this guy over so I can move him up like this. See, I can pair him up like that. Now I move him out of the way, back down, and so I see the red guy is here, so I move the red face up. So I can match him up, line him, back down. Now, of course, once you get more experienced with the 4-dimensional Rubik's Cube, you can actually do this deal. Instead of doing those moves, you can actually move them up, move this edge twist, and then back down. Nice way to save moves, right? So we've just solved our first sort of F2L. But we're not completely done yet. We need to solve some others. So let's rotate the 4-dimensional Rubik's Cube once. Just like that. Now, check. Is the cross piece solved? I see it is. Purple, yellow. And so, let's look for this three color piece that belongs here. See, that's purple, green, yellow. Purple, green, yellow. Where is he? Ooh, he's down here. Purple, green, yellow. So I can move them up because there's no blocks that I can mess up. And so, where's purple, green? Purple, green, two color piece. Purple, green's right here. And so, purple, since purple, green, yellow and purple, green are right next to each other but not correctly matched, I can maybe try to move purple, green, yellow away like that and try moving purple, green, yellow I mean try moving my two color piece up here now remember I can move this face freely because there's no block that is stuck on that's why I can do that alright so oh I just sort of messed it up there okay so purple, green, yellow purple, green so the purple green two color piece does not have yellow, meaning I have to use the face that has the yellow part of my three color piece to manipulate it, to move it down and stuff. So in this case, I can move, I can use the blue face with the yellow part here to move him down. And the reason why I can do this is because there's no blocks being moved up, so it won't mess anything. Then I can move my two color piece here, then back up, see how they match, okay, so I can move them out of the way, move the purple slot here, maybe do an edge twist, and then back down, but of course, for you beginners, it's move the purple guy in, then double click, back down, so let's try solving a second one. Like this guy. First, is the F is the cross piece solved? Yes, it is. So, blue, purple, yellow. Where's blue, purple, yellow? Find him. All right, blue, purple, yellow. And then I see blue, purple is right here. So where's the yellow? He's on top. And so since blue, purple yellow is on one of these four slots here which is here and those other three slots he's in sort of a corner slot so maybe I could sort of move him down this guy down here maybe pair him up oh wait 
Now, I actually did this incorrectly because, you see, since I moved him down like this way, if I try to pair my three color piece up, you see the colors are swapped. So if you ever get the case where the colors are swapped, maybe you want to move them down the other way so that you can move it twice. And they do match like that. Since purple is here, I move the purple guy up, move the pair in, then back down. All right. Now you should do, you should be able to do the rest on your own. Solve the cross piece, all the others, rotate them once again to solve all the other three colored pieces. All right. Your end result should look like this. See that? See all these F2L pairs sort of matched up and solved? Of course, the three four color piece pairs. We're going to have to deal with that on a later video. But this is what your end result should look like. This is what it should look like here. Have all these F2L pairs solved. As you can see, sort of see like all the edges of our yellow face solved like that, but it's also plus the second layer here. All right. Now this question, this, I mean, this tutorial was probably confusing. So, you, so if you have any questions, please ask them all in the comment section. Subscribe for more 40 puzzles, and I'll see you in the next video.